Welcome back, folks. This is Anthony Valentine, your camp and herd. So here on sale is an auto scooter executive. She's an old girl. Um, I actually listed this for sale a couple of weeks ago. But a couple of things have obviously happened to the world. One, obviously, this uh, nasty virus bug. So on this occasion, I will be offering it for sale with three deliveries on here in the United Kingdom. I can do a remote handover, so I can tailor a WhatsApp video if you wanted to. Um, if not, you got to come and come just on the second part of the video. If you've missed anything else, I will send you direct a WhatsApp video just bringing you up uh, to ask what you need. I also discovered on the last day of the sale of the auction a couple of weeks ago, as it were, that it was actually a package with some payout of 2002. The good news is it was stolen and recovered. So in other words, it was stolen in August 2002. The insurance paid out the last owner and then it was recovered with no damage found. But obviously the insurance have to register that on the database so it's now classed as a category C insurance payout. It makes no difference to the insurance value of a vehicle if there's no damage recorded. It's still insured for the last 18 years with no problem. But for, for everyone concerned, it will be known in advance that it's a Category C. Hence why that's why I went for the option a couple of weeks ago. On the good news, the body shop was uh, had a couple of cancellations, so I've managed to get the front wing repainted there, that painted there, and also the back form and then had some damage which you will see and I've zoomed in on the video that's going to follow this through. So you'll see on the second part of the video where I've pointed this out and it's had a re-strike in it. So at least it's benefiting from that being done on the uh, front wheel arch. So again, we're living in strange times at the moment. If you want to pay a deposit and collect it when the world re returns to normal as it were, or feel free to ring me up 0798 526 1078 and I will deliver this free of charge anywhere in the United Kingdom. Ring me up and pay a deposit. Enjoy the next part of the video. Thanks for watching. So welcome to the short video of a 1989 auto sleeper, two litre Ford automatic. Yes, automatic with power steering. With a famous one-piece monocoque fiberglass body shell. So as you would expect, it's bone dry inside. We'll go inside shortly, but just showing you the outside of the bodywork. Please remember folks, it's 31 years young. My name's Anthony Valentine, your camper nerd. I'm well known for my love of auto sleepers. There's another one that's going out shortly. There's three more in the line there that are going out. So bodywork, we've just had a downpour of rain folks, so that's just a bit of rain and water. Um, bodywork, that's the worst. It's not gone through, but there's obviously a little bit of evidence of a previous repair there. Um, so it is dry, so that's up to you whether you want to leave it as it is. I'll just put a bit of paint over there. And a little bit on the driver's wheel arch. So it's not gone through, it's just past its MOT. So yeah, so you could, you can actually, well you take that out, grind it back and put fiberglass in or paint it, or you can actually, if you go on eBay, you can get the skins and the metal skins and tap them on, so that won't come through again. But no, she's in amazing condition for a 31 year old Ford Transit. On this wheel, that's just a tiny little bit, being super fussy. Let's pop the bonnet before we uh, go inside. Look at this old girl. She's a lovely old honest bus. These seats, both of them swivel round, or you can fold them back, back down flat. Automatic, power steering. She's showing 3,000 miles. I've done the MOT check in history, so we I would fairly, be fairly confident to suggest that's 103,000. Obviously, it's not 3,000. I don't think it's been around twice. I think it's 103,000. Yeah, so it's the two litre automatic. You won't be win winning any races. Um, I brought this back. I got on the M62 near Hull and I had to cover 100 miles yesterday on the M62 and I actually got to the highest point on the motorway network in the United Kingdom. Um, 
on the crawler lane she was down to about 36 37 mile an hour at the lowest uh, speed but then traveling normally she would trundle along 60 65 all day long she certainly cruised at 55 all day long but as I say you won't be winning any races in a, a drag race Pop the bonnet, stay up. There's the old two litre Pinto engine. Very easy to work on, of course, and get parts for. That's recently been changed, the man said. So that's the engine battery, and you've also got the leisure battery. It's uh, been converted to a manual choke. Back in the day, the automatic ones of these were trouble, so you can see it's had a new carburetor a few years ago, and that was changed and converted to a manual choke. So it starts all right. Recently had a new coil, but yeah, she drives and runs fine. There's the power steering fluid and belt. A little bit of cosmetic rust on the front slam panel here, but where it counts on the chassis, you can see there's evidence of wax oiling, which is clearly evident, because it's just sailed through its MOT this morning. First time. As I say, just a couple of advisories. So you can look that up online. And I think from memory there was only one previous mention of corrosion or surface corrosion on an MOT many years ago. So obviously that was attended to. So just look online, Golf 999, Romeo Papa November, and that'll bring up free of charge all the MOT history. Right, let's step inside. Ah, previously, it's had been gas converted. It's not working on gas now. The engine, not the uh, heater system inside. Even the awning is in all good condition. I'll do a couple of photographs of the awning. Okay. Look at that. She's fabulous. She's not new. She's 31 years young, but there you go, all the bits and bobs work. So this is a slide here, so this will slide back here and then you can have a double bed upstairs. Well this bed makes up, you can have them extended flat at the front so you can have two large single beds as well as the double upstairs or these will pop together, you use the two tables which are up there fill them in there, bring the cushions along slide and you've got a large double bed or use the extra seats at the front as a large queen size bed. You won't get a larger bed that's for sure. And of course the fiberglass body, bone dry. No water ingress in these babies built to last. Same with the woodwork. So yeah a very usable classic as it is. Well, with a bit of TLC, you could take it to the next level. So yeah, I think I've had all the bits and bobs working. The only thing I would say is the hot water. The hot water boiler's working around. Put the water pump on there. Hot water. Cold water. The pilot light's there. It heats the water perfectly, but you just get a couple of drips. I've just had it on now, and here we go. There's just a couple of drips. There's something loose underneath there, or a washer, I would suggest, but it does light up. Let's see if I can do it on the camera. There you go. So we've got the pilot light there. That's the water heater, and it does warm up remarkably quick. So we'll just put that into there, and put the hot water on, and look, the combi boil, woof! And the combi boiler is heating the water. Just have a look elsewhere while that's uh, warming up as it were. Right, that is now already piping hot off the combi boiler. Piping hot. Similarly for the shower and the water basin, you can see a bit of steam there. See if we can, let's close the leisure door. I'll just put my camera down while I'm just gonna light the burners. So 
I'm just lacing the top two hops. While I'm down here, I'm going to light the oven and the grill. They're all lined in first time. There we have it. So two hops, the oven, as well as the grill, all working. Obviously, I'll not be putting any warranty or guarantee on this. It is 31 years old, so there's no warranty. If anything works, it's an added bonus. Yeah, she's a good old girl, this. Oh, a few bits and bobs left. A bit stiff that cupboard. There we go. So stepping inside. It hasn't even got a crack in the, on the shower tray. The toilet, flush working, sink, hot, cold, even the shower. Let's operate the shower. Was about that. It just clips rightly back in there. All working. Uh, it's got a couple of nets for these above. They're in the wardrobe. Let's go and find them now. Shower curtain. That fireworks a bit tricky to watch or demonstrate while I'm filming. So you just spin this, cut the, there's the clicker, igniter, and you look through the pilot light, but it is working fine. So the wardrobe, yeah, there's a couple of nets. There's the awning handle, there's the table legs, there's the chimney flue. Yeah, so the table legs, we've got two tables. So we have three positions. One there, so you can have a table in the middle, if you sat facing each other or well, these two convert so those move inwards and then you can have two I'll do the pictures so you can have the two rear seats forward facing with lap belts so you'd have four forward facing passengers with seat belts and then hidden behind those two is two of the uh, Fiorma ingresses as it were for the table so you can have table positions one two three Even all the original curtains. I'll do some pictures with it. All the bed configurations, as well as the curtains. A raft of paperwork, I'm not going through it all. That's the important one, look at that. So an exhaust, rubber perished, and a couple of slight plates and a couple of wheel bearings. Wow, 31 years old, and look at that MOT. So the, the original auto sleeper instructions there. Got a workshop manual, you've got the logbook. Um, let's see. Yeah, nine, own, nine owners. I think that's quite sensible in 31 years. And it is registered, of course, as a motor caravan. There's some old MOTs there, and there's a full file of past MOT service and bits and bobs. I'm not going to go through all that, but it's there for you to peruse. So yes, there we have it. On sale with no reserve. There's no point in ringing up and asking how much it is, how much will you take, how much do you need. Sometimes the camper vans make a little bit more than expected. Sometimes a little bit less. But generally the market will decide the fair price. And that's what will lead you to decide what you want to bid for it. You can see by my feedback I honour all my bids it'll be on reserve on sale with no reserve so whatever it fetches it will fetch uh, just a little note here the two windows so that slides all the way back no problem 
to about there. This one, I think it'll only slide, it gets stuck about there. So that one will only slide. The outside window of the double glazing is just bellowed a bit. So just a concave on the outside, so that's where it's just catching. You can push that a little bit more, but I wouldn't want to force it against the outside plastic. So just bear that in mind. That's that one there. So that will close nicely. That will a little bit stiff, wants a bit of grease. But there you go, look, all the way back, no problems on the passenger side. Spare wheel, the two tables are there. What have we got here? I'm not sure where that is. Oh, I know. It's, would you believe it's got a full awning, an inflatable awning. So there's the pump up to inflate the whole of the awning. And I think he said there's a load of pegs here. There's a load of pegs in there for the awning. And that'll clip over the Fiorma F45 awning on the outside. So yeah, just a good old solid bus. The only thing I didn't get working was the igniter. I'll have another go before the auction ends, but just assume it's not working. It is, the fridge is working on the mains. It's working on the 12 volt as you drive along, but I've not managed to get the burner working. So the fridge is not working on gas. It'll probably just need a service. I'll be showing you the wine cabinet. And that's about it. So I'll just do a quick recap outside. So it's a two litre Ford Transit automatic petrol with power steering, 12 months MOT, on sale with no reserve. The couple of bodywork issues I'd say is this little patch here, but just cosmetic and a little bit on the driver's wheel arch. Other than that, she's a good old honest bus. Uh, the top there you can see it needs a bit of a polish and clean there. I've done a picture of the roof. Of course, it's perfect, it's solid, as you would expect a fall to sleep, just dirty because it's been 31 years there. I just wiped a little surface area there. I'll do a picture of it and you'll just, just, just see how lovely she will come up. So for somebody to buy this and just spend perhaps one day polishing it all over, it'll be a different thing. A good old usable classic, just as it is or a little bit of TLC and take it to the next level. So thanks for watching. It's on sale with no reserve. My name's Anthony Valentine, your camper nerd. 0798 526 1078. And I'll answer any sensible questions and viewing is highly recommended. Good luck with your bidding folks.